Well, today's the 10th annual Metro Wide Bike Collection for free bikes for kids. And joining us now is the executive director, Tony Esau, and Dr. Uh, Danielle Wang from Alina Health. Um, tell us what's happening today, Terry. Uh, the best day of the year, by the way. <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, people are going to be donating bikes from 9 to 1 p.m. at virtually any Alina hospital or clinic around the metro area. Uh, we set the Guinness World Record a couple of years ago. We collected 5,512 bikes in four hours. Wow. wow. And we think if the rain holds off, Mike, yeah. <laughs> can we do that? We think we can maybe beat that today, but uh, we need all kinds of bikes. Uh, any size, any kind, tricycles. We'd prefer that they're gently used, mm -hmm. uh, not rusted or uh, falling apart, but we can fix them. And then we just need thousands of volunteers over the next eight weeks to just help us. Just thousands, thousands of volunteers. Thousands. <laughs> yeah. that, but it's fun, yeah. it's so much fun. And you go to our website and uh, sign up to volunteer. They're three hour shifts, it's awesome. Dr. First, Wayne, we need bikes. Yes, right, and yes. why is it important for kids to mm -hmm. have bikes? So Alina got invested because um, we're trying to get people healthy from the beginning, set these healthy habits, get them on a bicycle, get them active. We started partnering with Terry about seven years ago and plan to forever. <laughs> <laughs> I, you heard that. <laughs> it's on, right. it's it's on, on right. camera. Right. Exactly. Yes. So who do these bikes go to? Why should people come out and donate these today? These are going to underserved kids, so we give bikes away to kids through schools, through nonprofits, through CBOs, FBOs, um, and these are kids who are never going to get a bike mm -hmm. if somebody doesn't help them do it. And it's one of those things, those bikes sit, you know, in the garage after the kids grow up and you feel bad throwing them away, and you should, yeah. especially when you can drop them off and donate them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like 8 million bikes are outgrown every year, and they yeah. sit in garages mm -hmm. for the most part, and they're fine. They just need to be put back on the street. I'll say that between a teddy bear and a car, this is the best thing that a kid can <laughs> yeah. have. have so, so help us do that today. You know, come out. We need you. We need your, your bikes. Tell us again where people can donate the bikes. So you can find it at alinahealth.org. There's a link on our main page. It'll list the 50 locations today that are taking bikes. Great. Okay, and you said again, volunteers. What will these volunteers be doing if they sign uh, up for a shift? We need people of all skill levels. So. Every bike has to be cleaned when it comes in. Anybody can do that. If you can change a tire, if you can adjust a derailleur, anything like that, we really need those people. But we need four to 5,000 people over the next eight weeks to get five to 6,000 bikes ready to give away to kids for Christmas. All right, if you have a passion for kids and bikes, yes. you can go <laughs> and uh, find out more at WCCO.com. Thank you to Terry and Dr. Wang for coming in. Thank you Thank guys you. for Thanks helping so us tell the story. Good luck Of course, today. good luck, Thanks. yeah.